I have just started the timers on each application. The left hand side depicts the installation of a Fireline 520 fire blanket in real time. The right hand side demonstrates the installation of a typical or standard fire blanket. The right hand side is sped up to demonstrate the differences in installation time. As you can see on the left hand side, I am now installing the factory pre-assembled transition. Our patented transitions arrive on site pre-assembled with pre-attached integral flanges. These features simplify the installation process, which decreases the margin of error. On the right hand side, I am creating the transition in the fire barrier system by layering the fire rated materials. Because typical fire barriers come in standard lengths, contractors have to physically create the desired lengths and seams in the field. This process is time consuming and creates the potential for weakness within the fire barrier system. The pre-attached metal flanges of the Fireline 520 system allow for drop-in installation. The contractor simply place the fire barrier in the expansion joint, cut the zip ties, and secure the flanges to the substrate. On the right side, in the standard fire barrier application, I am now pinning the seams together. You'll notice that I've already spent 300% more time on the application thus far. Because of the unique male and female transitions of the Fireline 520 system, I am able to simplify installation of the next piece without jeopardizing the effectiveness of the fire barrier or decreasing the fire rating. On the right side, to ensure the fire barrier fits inside the joint, I am folding the fire barrier over a 2x4 or pipe to create the drape. In a real installation, the fire barrier might be two or three times this length, which would make the folding process a lot more difficult on the contractor. At three and a half minutes, I'm nearly halfway done with the Fireline installation. Because the standard fire barrier does not have pre-attached flanges in this scenario, I must create the bends in the material by hand. Any space remaining in a fire barrier acts as a chimney for fire and smoke so all this manual manipulation must be done with the utmost care and precision for the fire barrier to remain effective. Manually attaching the flanges of the standard fire barrier takes a lot of work and many times requires more than one contractor. Even if the flanges arrive on site with pre-drilled holes, it still requires a lot of coordination to make sure the metal doesn't move out of place within the expansion joint.
On the left, I'm about to install the last section of the Fireline fire barrier. To install the next piece of the standard fire barrier, I have to cut it down to size and make sure that there isn't excess bulk within the joint. Again, I have to manipulate the fire barrier to fit it into the expansion joint. Because I had to create my own transition in the standard fire barrier application, I now have to apply fire rated caulk to seal the seam for fire protection. This step is completely unnecessary in the Fireline 520 installation process due to the factory fabricated transition. For more information, go to inprocorp.com or call your local Joint Master sales rep at 800-222-5556 today. Inpro.